So here's what we're going to do, chat. We're going to do something a little different. Stop the music. All right, so here's what's going to happen, chat. Blue is going to join us to talk about Grand Blue. Get it? Uh, and we're going to use something that has been released on Twitch. Uh, and I've been trying to use this for a while, and I'm happy that we finally do get to try it out. This has the potential to completely screw everything up. So stick with us. We're trying something called Guest Star. If you haven't heard uh, about this, Guest Star is a call-in feature that Twitch has released, which allows me to take people directly from the chat, directly from the chat, and put you on stream. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to try doing that with Blue right now. Let's see here. This has the potential to completely not work, and it might not work completely. So let's, uh, let's, let's enjoy the ride of this experiment, shall we? Now, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's welcome onto the stream Blue. All right, it it works. It works. It works. It sure do. How's it going, man? Uh, it's going fine. How is everything going with you? I haven't seen you since Evo, so. Yeah, we got to hang at Evo. It was cool. And by hang at Evo, I mean I said hi, and then we took a picture, and then we had to run. <laughs> We both had stuff to do. We, it's understandable. We both had very big stuff to do. So. For sure. Uh, first of all, Blue, on behalf of the chat, on behalf of everybody watching, thank you for all that you do for the show. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a, a, a honor and a pleasure working with you, man. You, you, you've been, you've been putting the show on your back in ways that you can't even imagine. So well, thank you for that. No, no problem. No problem at all. I. I love doing this thing. I, if I didn't love doing the stuff I do, I would not be in the FCC for this long. So yeah, you and me both. <laughs> 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 All right, so I have you on the show here because uh, earlier, the uh, er, late last week, as a matter of fact, immediately after the show last week, the yep. jerks. <laughs> I won. I I won. I knew it. Dude, I we moved days. I moved time. And these assholes still manage to announce shit as soon as I go offline. What the fuck? I, I, was, I was like, we're going to have the Friday show. And then I was like, immediately, I was like, Saturday, Saturday morning, there's going to be news. And you're like, nah, nah, there's no way. Four hours later. Four hours later, after we put... Or after I put the show to bed, after a tumultuous week because I had issues, <laughs> I had internet issues, right. uh, these jerks decide to announce uh, a new uh, thing for Grand Blue. So I'm gonna just put this up here on the screen. Uh, this is the trailer that immediately released, and Blue, I wanna get your immediate reaction because at Evo, at Evo this year, the Grand Blue community had uh, a bit of a disappointing time because you you were expecting a big reveal something big and while you did get something really cool with the grand blue versus community tournaments unfortunately that was it no announcement from Psy games no announcement from arxis no announcement from anybody so it, it was very 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 disappointing however last week this comes out and the the big thing that happened was i'm skipping through the trailer here to show off the exact part in the trailer where things got crazy and I believe it is right about right about right about, right about. stalling stalling it's around there I think what you're talking about is around there yeah oh there it is, there it is. I missed it. We saw it. We saw it for a second. There it is. the The world exploded, and like euphoria was felt throughout the Grand Blue versus community. So, how do you feel finally getting rollback for a Grand Blue? Uh, so my reaction to Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising uh, DBBSR is of two waves. There is the wave of I am so happy that this game is finally getting the scene that it rightfully deserves. Everybody knows that in 2020, uh, when the game came out, the pandemic happened, and that killed a lot of momentum for the game, not only because it was delay-based, like, people can play through delay-based if they have offline teams, 
but there was no offline scene be- for almost an entire year because we only had like maybe one tournament for it and i think that was was that frosty i think it was think so. that was about it so the fact that it's getting uh, a sequel which we're pretty much um assuming that it's just a sequel another version of Granville fantasy versus Granville fantasy versus two essentially mm-hmm. um is really big now i said that as part one part two <laughs> was of a friend of mine named Rowlett. Uh, if you guys don't know, Rowlett is a big community member of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus. She does a lot of the stuff for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus events um, on Twitter, so go and check them out if you want to find Grand Blue Fantasy Versus events. Uh, she was streaming uh, her reaction to the entire uh, session, the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus session. Her reaction to the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising News, I put that on Twitter. And let me tell you, I am. I put that up on Saturday night before I went to bed. I'm still getting notifications about that tweet today. Yep. Like that thing right now, I'm just double checking the numbers, has over eight, almost 8,000 views. That video, it's like a one minute and 20 second video. It has 8,000 views. It is crazy. How many people are really dedicated to the game? Not only members of the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus community, who of course is happy about it, but also just at general FTC. I saw a lot of people on Twitter the, um, right before um, the Grand Blue News was like, I really hope that Grand Blue gets a chance with rollback. I really hope Grand Blue really get that chance in sign that it deserves. I really hope that the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus scene really gets this corrupted and it they pretty much did in droves because not only did we get rollback, we have crossplay, which is something I don't think anybody was expecting from the, from a sequel or heck, if we just got rollback, we were happy. But to get crossplay as well, as well as new mechanics, new stages, and new characters as well, um, that's pretty much all we could ever ask for, and that is just the tip of an iceberg of a really, really amazing presentation that they did during Grand Blue Fantasy Fest and just community so happy for it. Um, and they're just driving and going in droves about getting ready for Versus and getting ready for Rising. Hell yeah. Um, no, I, honestly, like as soon as it was really funny because, you know, since we missed the announcement because these jerks announced it like four hours after the show came out, uh, I woke up on Saturday morning to like just a wall of Twitter of people going, it happened. It happened. It's like, what happened? <laughs> Wait, which one is it? Is it the good stuff or the bad stuff? And then it turns out it was a grand blue rollback. So I can only imagine how euphoric everybody feels on top of all this, on top of all this, on top of fall guys being in grand blue versus, uh, oh, well, I can go. we can have a whole entire discussion about that. Uh, on top of the new uh, the new look, on top of the new stage, on top of the new characters, a patch came out earlier this week, right? I think it was earlier this week. Mm-hmm. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about the most because I'm you know I'm someone who no longer can speak on uh, Grand Blue because I haven't played it in a hot minute. So I wanted to get you on the show. I wanted to ask you some questions first. First, what? are like the big big changes like what about the game is changing in this new patch that the game hasn't had before yeah so the biggest change and there is a video for it um for version 2.85 that's the final version of grand blue fantasy versus they're not updating the game anymore this is the final patch for the game uh the big changes that they did was to the rest system so For people who don't know, back in June, they released a patch with three new mechanics. There is Rush, Backshift, and Overdrive. Those are the new ways that you can use your meter, your skybound gauge um, that was on the top of the screen. And that is a new way that you can interact with your opponent. In this version, uh, with the Rush system, is a little charge attack to go through your opponent, um, strike in bull moves, and if you do it in a combo, you can get a full combo from them. In this patch, they have increased the height that um, opponents get boosted up when they get hit by Rush, leading to new combos. So a lot of characters have new um, routes that they can do, even mid-screen. Grand Blue was very synonymous of being like, 
you kind of drive your opponent into the corner, and then that's when you get your very interesting stuff in uh, in the corner, unless you're like uh, Lancelot or Balio or characters of that nature. Now everybody kind of has a mid screen uh, string that they can do from mid from the corner and just do a good corner carry, or they can do some decent damage. So um, that is the major thing about it. It lets people um, think about using the rush meter to either get that corner carry or for the big damage combo just to, to carry kill. That may not just do it from maybe a basic over, overdrive or skybound art. Um, and then the other major thing that happened with the patch, and this is super minor uh, for most characters, that was all they get. The rush changes to increase their height was about all they got. There was only five other characters that they actually touched in that patch, which was Gran, Catalina, uh, Lediva, Uno, I want to I want to say it in Eustace, um, my character. Most of those were minor adjustment changes, but those changes actually helped the characters become more viable, especially Grand and Catalina, who many would assume to be some of the worst characters in the game, to be honest. So the character being the worst in the game. Congratulations, you had that reality for like a year and a half. Get them back into main stage. Um, basically, most of the changes that they have for those characters was just making their strings a little bit easier and their conversions a lot better. So, um, for example, Grand, his whole thing, if you played any of Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, was the boot. Like, he just has a giant boot that just launches you, and that would pretty much nerf, a fireball got nerfed, and a lot of that kind of stuff got really tanked. In the past, now he can do strength into his um, fireball that he can combo after, and now we can just do boot combo almost Mid screen to far mid screen and just do a full conversion off them. So he is a lot more viable now. Catalina is a lot more viable, sees her own unique character just being a pure solo. So overall, I think for the community reception of this patch is one of very good nature because this is a patch where everybody definitely feels viable at this point, even Ladiva. Her change with that in her, in her auto combo, now her opponent stays standing. So now it's just a 50 50 of command grab or headbutt. So now it's just like a really good time that if you find a character that you really like in Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, this is your time to really put some time into them, put some effort into them because they're coming back into Rising and they may even get even better with that game. Hell yeah. Also, uh, fun fact, uh, you met him at Evo Olsen, who's uh, the editor for Best of Five. He, right. <laughs> he's a Lediva player, so he <laughs> saw those changes and is like, oh, nice. I can play the game I now. Can, <laughs> I can finally play the game now. Cool. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. So with this big change and with every or with characters getting uh, with characters getting the ability to have those good strings through uh through mid screen and everything like that, who who are the biggest winners in this patch? Like, is there any character who's like came out ahead like a bandit? Oh, gra absolutely, Grand and Catalina. Like, oh, yeah? that patch yeah. was absolutely like their final chance to be Ashley character from being like worse to Ashley now being super viable. I want to say like they're the top characters in the game. I still think that it's either like Gita, Balio, or uh, Sits. So, like, those characters are super good right now. And Vera, those mm -hmm. four are probably, like, the Mount Rushmore, Grand Blue Fantasy versus at the moment, and that hadn't changed. But those characters now, um, we get Regala to be, like, if you're a fan of the characters you're playing them, to their actually viable choices is really good for the community because there is a lot of people who like those characters. BG Callisto made it to the NA final just playing Catalina. And he's like, my Catalina, freaking nice. <laughs> but now he can actually, there are more people playing Catalina now. There are more people playing Grand now. So D character is now viable. I call that win. Hell yeah. And was there any specific character that got completely screwed this patch at all? No. No? <laughs> like, literally, literally, there was not a single nerf. Like, the, hell yeah. If your, your nerf was that your only change was the rust change, mm. which. You're able to do more combos now, so congratulations. Gotcha, dude. That's awesome. I'm a I'm a big fan when developers approach the the update uh, with the philosophy of never nerfing anything. 
Uh, I think mm -hmm. that makes it super fun for I think, everybody. I think Grand Blue, uh, the funny story about Grand Blue is a lot of people really lost their interest in Grand Blue at the start of season two when Balio came out because they really like changed a lot of characters to be, I would say nerf, yeah. So especially like Can, uh, Catalina, because they their fireballs used to knock down, but now they didn't. So that they really lost a lot of their game plan from that moment. So they really tanked. I think at that point on, they were just like, Ashley, we probably did a little bit too much. Let's try to boost everybody up. Try to make some minor adjustments to fist them if they're too broken. But yeah. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And I, I feel like this, yeah, they use the same uh, philosophy when they did the DNF patch earlier this <laughs> year because it was just a hundred buffs. <laughs> it was just, it was just buffs. Sir, sure, everybody gets a buff. Is your buff only damage? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> uh, Okay, so uh, last question here on as far as the patch goes, like, mm -hmm. are there any big changes to the meta? I know you said that there's uh, that people actually get like a uh, good corner carry from the mid uh, from uh, the mid screen. Like, is there anything else that's kind of like going to change how Grand Blue versus is played until Grand Blue Rising? Uh it's way too early to tell, but I think that Brush. Because again, the rest system is just being overhauled a little bit. It's going to change the game a lot for a lot of people because you can either wait for your hundred meter because most Grand Blue Fantasy, um, the game has basically two angles. You either get the fifty meter so you can keep rushing, you can keep bash system, so you can keep the pace of the match either by keeping on your offensive with your opponent or just getting out of the way so you can start pressure either at range for most of the time with Matera or something like that, a zoner. Uh, or you can wait till the 100 meter, pop your overdrive, and now you have, you can't take chip damage, you will do chip damage with any hit you do, and you're just trying to wear down your opponent until they die, right? This rush system now may make some people think about when to spend a rush meter, because rush, it takes a little bit for your um, meter, cool down to wear out so you can get normal meter back again. But I think that mechanic of getting using your rush, doing your entire combo, getting a little bit of pressure, and then your normal meter coming back is a really good mechanic because it now has people thinking about, should I use rush now or should I wait for the 100 meter when I can either do a super, skybound R, or should I wait for overdrive, or should I just use, have both 100 meter just to use rush? Or just to back stuff, just so I can have the contestants or the safeguards um, options. So I think it definitely makes meter management a little bit more, um, not just one dimensional. So I think meter management going into the next year or so for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus will be something to look at. Hell yeah. Uh, I, I do need to like re download it and play it because uh, it's been a hot minute. So I, I, I had a Luan in at launch. I had a Loane at launch before people found out that he was ass. I had I had a Loane at launch, and as soon as I got the the big lady you know super, I, people... I hear Loane. I hear Loane. <laughs> no, as soon as uh, as soon as it launched, like getting the big lady super was the end of the game because people didn't know how to deal with it. And then as soon as people started learning how to deal with it, that's when I quit. <laughs> and, that, and that's the worst part because like um, Loane. Because of the overdrive feature, even if you bring out Big Mama Yagi, uh, Yagi out, now people can just pop overdrive. They can just block everything and just have to jump the lava. That's it. <sighs> so people just are like, okay, I pop overdrive. Good luck. I am going to jump this lava, and anything else you could do to me, good luck. <laughs> Man, I feel like Lil Wayne got did dirty. <laughs> he uh, needs it. He yeah, needs he, it. he needs the instant win super. All right. That's the win super is now his um the pyramid because oh, that's yeah. super good now. That's hyper arm hyper armor that turns into like unblockable miss ups and you're just like, well, well time to deal with this for at least five seconds. <laughs> well, it sounds like I need to get back into it for sure. Yeah, get for get sure. my little Wayne back.